the book is bigger than me. Like so many different kinds of people can see themselves in this book, whether it be somebody who grew up gay, somebody who grew up in a minority community, the, uh, the child of immigrants, somebody who grew up fat, uh, somebody who wants to be an entrepreneur, um, somebody who just loves celebrities. Like there's so much to me that, um, that people could see themselves in. And I think the book is filled with drama, but also some wisdom <laughs> and, um, and, and uh, a lot of love. Was there a conscious decision to like leave anything out? Like you said, with getting back to TMI, were you just like, let's just put it all in there? No, I mean, I put it all in there. My publisher did um, tweak a couple of things just because they don't want to get sued. <laughs> and it's nothing major. Like, I think I mentioned how much I got paid for Celebrity Big Brother in the UK. And they were worry, worried about revealing that number because that might violate a confidentiality agreement that they had me sign and blah, blah, blah. But I told them, that show's not even on the air anymore. They're not gonna sue, sue you. <laughs> yeah. Were you a huge Joan Rivers fan since you brought uh, her up? Yes. Joan Rivers was, I, got, I had the pleasure of working with her multiple times. And every time she would always send me home with jewelry for my mother. That's just the kind of person that she was. She was so generous, so kind. I did um, her reality show with Melissa twice, two seasons. It was the and best show. It was the best show. And I also did her web show, the In Bed with, with Joan as well, um, just to get her sign of approval meant the world to me because she really was such an inspiration to me and continues to be. You know, I talk about in the book, I was an it girl back in the day and I was hanging out with my fellow it girls. I'm not an it girl anymore just because I'm closer to 50 than I am 20. I'm 43 almost. I'm, I'm gonna be turning 43 in March. Uh, but for a while there, even though I think I always was grounded, when you are going through that it girl phase, it's, you drink the Kool-Aid. And my vision was almost myopic. I had tunnel vision. For a few years there, I was actually saying no to a lot of things. Oh, that's lame. That's not good for my brand. I don't like that opportunity. And I was just laser focused with getting a talk show. That's all I wanted. I want a talk show. I deserve a talk show. Why don't I have a talk show? I even partnered with one of the former executive producers of the Oprah Winfrey show. And Oprah is like Jesus to me.